Hi, I'm Kevin Ryan of Top Meadow. It's Thursday morning, August 6th. I got the video uploaded last night showing yesterday's progress and ready to dig in today. So, away we go. I'm going to start by going into my Sheepdog folder here and add everything to my Subversion repo, which with Tortoise SVN is as simple as right clicking, choosing Add, and then going through the files and selecting all the ones I want and, and clicking OK. So I, is, I want to go carefully go through and make sure that I add only what I want to add. So that's what I'm going to do now. That didn't take too long. You notice the icons here have the little plus sign. That means that there's been something added to the version there. Now I'll go up a level. Here's my sheepdog thing. Now to check everything in, I'm just going to right click and say commit. I can type a message up here on the on the thing that tells what I've done and I'll just say initial setup of all files. There we go. And it lists all the files that I've put put in there. Big 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 first commitment, then I'll just say okay. And what it's gonna do is Tortoise is gonna commit them for me. It's talking to my SBN server. And away it goes. They're all being added. Takes a little while for the first one because it's a larger group of them. And then throughout the day or at the end of the day at minimum I'll check in whatever I've done for that day so it's really easy to go back and, and um, revert to an earlier version of my stuff. So it's uh, sending in everything. Done. It says that revision too. Now I could right click and I can, using Tortoise, right click, go show log. Let me slice this down so it fits better and it's going and telling me what's in there now. And you can see, I can click on each version and it shows what's done each version and at any time I can um, check out any version of the game that I want. So I can go back if I made a mistake or I want to go see what some earlier thing looked like, it's really easy for me to do it. Okay. There's the repo. Now onto the game. Let's take a quick look at the game. You see the W in there. I have a wolf in there now. Oops. Let's get down here. And he'll ch chase sheep. So he's always moving towards the sheep. There. But he won't chase sheep th that are in the safe area. So now he's heading off towards this sheep up here. So could be the game we have sheep wandering into the screen and, and you're running around trying to get all the sheep to safe places. So maybe we'll have multiple wolves. Get out of here. Now, here's the wolf code, the actual intelligence for the wolf. I thought I'd give you a quick look at that. It's just update wolves. Right here it loops through the number of wolves in the game. You could so it support for more than one. Gets gets a pointer right here to the wolf, current wolf, then it uses that. It looks at this wolf, sees it, if it has a targeted sheep. And also checks if it does have a targeted sheep, if that sheep is in the goal or not. If it doesn't have a sheep, or if the sheep that it's targeting is in the goal, it goes and finds the closest sheep, right? It calls a function that returns a sheep pointer, which tells it, which returns the, the closest sheep to it that it, it can go after. Then the next thing is, we want to make sure we actually found a sheep, and if we did, or we have one, it goes into here. The next step, this line here, the vector, it just gets a distance vector. Get, I mean, a, a vector between the wolf and the targeted sheep. Next step, we have to find out how far we go. So we have a wolf speed, and we multiply that by our time delta. That's uh, uh, how much time's passed. So it's always running. If we have a fast frame rate or a slow frame rate, that's in real time, the wolf's always moving at the same speed, so this normalizes the wolf's speed down to the current time slice. Next step, right here, it takes that difference between the, the two locations and normalizes it. What normalize does, it makes a vector a length of one. So it's, it's a length one vector pointing in the direction. Um, in this case, it would be a pointing from the sheep to the wolf there multiplies that by how far we re really want to travel. So if we wanted to travel four, the vector would turn out to be four long instead of one long. If it was half 
uh, 0.5, the vector would only be 0.5 long. Then all we do is take that, add it to our wolf's location, and then I set the sprite to that new location, the wolf's moving toward the sheep. That's it. That's that, that little piece of code there, that's everything that drives the wolf. Here's another quick update. I've modified the choose level to be a choose play area, and I think I'll have four different play areas with different layouts of pins and other obstacles in the game. And so you can choose one of the four and each will have different play characteristics. Then when you go in, you'll, you know, bark and make your shoe. Oh look, I got three wolves out here. Now. Obviously there's no play balance in here yet. But um, I'm thinking maybe we'll you'll go tell the wolf to get one of the sheep and we'll keep track of but maybe add a counter up here of how many sheep you've saved so far in the game. So anyway, latest iteration. I want to take a quick break and show you Arctic Fox for the Amiga, a game I worked on 24 years ago. There it is. It was the first original game that came out for the Amiga. And anyway, today's August 6th. And 24 years ago today, at our office in Eugene, Randy Dersham took that picture of the four of us that worked on Arctic Fox. It's uh, Jeff Tunnell, Damon Sly, Richard Hicks, and, and me. So anyway, it's amazing how quickly 24 years can go past. Back to work. I've got a new build here. You see I've made the things a little smaller. When the sheep goes in, see it fades away and it counts how many sheep you've saved. So I can uh, I get these two sheep over here in. They should both, there we go, fade away, two, three, two, two, two. There we go. Wolf moving around. Wolf's not going where he's supposed to do. He's supposed to be chasing his sheep, just kind of wandering off. So we'll track that down. But anyway, oh, and I've moved these a little bit farther off the screen. So solar refining stuff. Here's a quick look at the latest build. Add a little effect. Okay, see the wolf change. He's going after this guy. Sheep down here now because the other one made it to the goal. Just kind of tweaking things here and there. There we go. He's in there. There's another. Wolf's going to come over at this guy. I limit where they can go so I can, the dog can get around him to the side here. Just tweaking little things here and there to make it work. So i um, stop here for the day, check everything into the repo, and, and upload the latest video and start in again tomorrow morning.